welcome back. I have a second part of my haul I like to share with you guys. So yeah, let's begin. This light might be a little too bright. I don't know. I think is that better? Hmm. I think that's okay. But anyways, you guys, yes, I have a second part to this video. And it's a very small part because once again, I had to take back a few things. And yeah, so the first thing I'm going to show you is actually the makeup products that I got. Not nothing like really extravagant or anything like that. It's just that I didn't want a couple of products that I knew I wasn't going to use. So I thought, okay, why not, you know, take these products back, get something that I would use. Um, by the way, you guys, I'm looking at my brow. I'm going, girl, like, look at that. You can tell I've been off for a while. So let me fix this brow while I talk to you guys. Like, I can't get that. I noticed all of that. I'm using the ELF, uh, what is it, liner and brow cream, which I am loving. I'm getting used to it. Um... It doesn't, it's, it's one of those products that I have to find something to keep my brows in place though. I feel like it's getting harder and harder to keep my brows in place and, and line and all that. So I think I'm going to have to get some clear mascara like I used to um, back in the day. That's what I used to use. I think that's what I'm going to have to go back to. But anyways, you guys. Let me show you the part two of what I got, which is really nothing exciting, to be honest with you. Like, this is one of the things is that um, the store policy, the store where I went to, they actually gave me a policy that I was like, what? And the heck is going on here? Because they used to never have a policy like that. And I randomly ever go back and return anything from this store or to this store. So I was like really shocked about the policy. And I've got to ask questions about it because let me tell you, when you do makeup videos and you go back and you... um you know, have to take back things. I think they think you just want new things, like you just want to collect more things, and it's nothing like that. It's just that some things are, you, you know, you are sensitive to, or your skin just doesn't work well with certain things. So just getting to the facts or to the point. This is what I got. Basically, this is the way it went. And I'm not naming the store. Um, I got more respect than to name the store. But basically, I had an item that was $3.99 because y'all know I shop on a bargain. And then I had another product that was $3.99. And then I had this foundation here that doesn't match my skin at all. And it was priced for $3.99. And because the ticket wasn't on there, they would not take it back because they said that they didn't have the same product, um, I guess, on the aisle, in the, in the makeup aisle. And I was like, I got this here. It just doesn't match me. I have to mix this with another, like a deeper tone foundation. This is a good foundation. It's just, I have to mix it with something all the time. And I get tired of that because now I have like my BB creams and stuff like that, that actually matches, that actually work. So I don't feel like, you know, blending this in with other products. But anyways, you guys, I didn't get anything for this product which is very upsetting because I did see something that I could have used and would have liked and I could have exchanged for this product but they wouldn't let me do it okay but the few things that I did get which is this uh, Revlon color stay brow crayon um, yeah, yeah, I'm not even fascinated with this because this is in the shade Soft Black. Now, if I was a brunette, this would work. 
but I have blonde hair, okay? You, yes, it's, it's, it's mine, okay? It's on my head. I, yeah, it's mine. So I have blonde hair, and so this soft black um, eyeliner, or not even eyeliner, I thought about using it as an eyeliner, I thought, no, it's, it's a brow product. This, bra this brow pencil in soft black is not going to work. I looked all the way through, like on in the makeup section, there was nothing I could have got for $3.99 except for this and maybe a few other things just, just didn't appeal to me. This didn't appeal to me, but I had to get something. So this is what it looks like. I got it, but y'all honestly... Like, what I got on right now with the ELF is dark enough, okay? This is like a, I think it's a medium brown. Like, this is soft black. I know that it would be pretty if if my hair was darker. It would be nice. But I have blonde hair. So, this is going to look really extreme on me. So, anyway, this pencil basically is... Like I said, it's just it's just it's just not going to work, but I'm gonna have to make it work. One thing I thought about doing is actually using this pencil as a I guess an eyelid primer. Like maybe put this on my eyelids and then place an eyeshadow on top. The only thing about it is that I don't know because I have to be very like I have to be very careful about what I put on my eyes and things like that. I'm very cautious because of the eye injury that I had going on for a year and five months. Um, it was a long time and yeah, it was uncalled for. Things could have been done, but y'all, basically what I'm saying is I don't want to put this on my eyelid as a base and it may affect my eyelids in some way so I will use this on my brows I just don't know y'all really how I'm going to use this product because basically it's like a product that I'm just like what am I going to do with this like this is not like a medium brown it's not a dark brown it's not a light brown it's soft black and it's not going to go good with my blonde hair okay so but because the representative said I had to get something for $3.99, this was $3.99, so I got it, okay? The next thing, I had to get something for $2.63 and I think 63 cents or something like that. So the only other thing that I could get for that price was this Etsy nail polish right here. It's a really pretty color. I, I sort of, I don't regret this one. Actually, this is this is the color that I'm going to paint my nails. Um, it was on the clearance side. And so, um, because it's nail polish, I feel like it's okay, you know, because it's just nail polish. Um, I'm going to paint my nails um, this color, and I'll show y'all what it looks like. That's the color. It's like a red, but it's like a coral red shade. So I'm going to paint my nails this color very, very soon. I think it was look really nice on my skin tone and all. So, yes. All right. Y'all remember me telling y'all that I love... Um, as far as the first part of this video, y'all remember me telling y'all that I love this all made, never regret, hashtag lip vibes. This is so smooth. I still have it on. I'm about to put it on right now. It is so smooth and it feels really nice on my lips. I absolutely love these lipsticks. So I went back to Walmart and I found another nude. This one right here is uh, Sleep Later. <laughs> so that this one is Never Regret and this one is Sleep Later. <laughs> That's the name of it. And it's such a beautiful, uh, nude because I'm a nude girl. Um, I'm going to show you this. This is Sleep Later. It's so nude that this actually matches right into my skin. But on my lips, you'll be able to see it. See that little shine there? That's it. It just blends right in with my skin tone and it's so pretty. Like, look at that. And then that 
like I said, this one here is called uh, Sleep Later. Yeah, Sleep Later, y'all. Later, okay? And then this one, Never Regret, is this one here, which is more of a more noticeable nude. But both of those nude shades are absolutely gorgeous. So those are my two newest favorite what happened then? <laughs> Two of my favorite nudes right now because I can see myself using these like all the time and that's the way the packaging look, which is pretty. It's like tropical. It's like, it's just like so beautiful on my, you know, makeup table and all and it just looks tropical and cute, you guys. So... Yeah, that's it. And it's by the brand All May. And All May do have some other shades, um, but they didn't have the other shades on clearance. Those were on clearance. And I'm surprised that they were even on clearance because those are really beautiful nude shades. Now, they did have a blue shade, like a really dark navy blue shade. I wanted to get that because I thought it would be cute. Who knows? I might go back and get it, but then again, it may be gone. And then they had this like yellow golden shade as well. So you never know. Your girl may just go ahead and get those, but I'm not into those colors anymore. Like at one time I was into all those colors, real, you know, like all different like crayon colors, which is beautiful on some people. Like certain ones do look good on me, but for right now, I'm just still like stuck with the nude lipsticks, okay? All right, so now there's a couple more things that I have, which is actually two blouses. Yes, I told y'all I need some clothes, okay? I've been robbed, abused, and yeah, hate it, okay? So basically, anytime I get a chance to buy me some clothes, get me some clothes, or get me some makeup, get me some underwear, get me some bras, get me some sweatshirts or um, camis, whatever you want to, socks, shoes, anything, I'm going to get get it okay i'm gonna get it so this is one top that i saw this was like y'all won't believe it it's like three dollars and ninety cents and it is a hoodie and it looks like the sky look at that isn't that gorgeous it's just like the sky it looks like the blue sky with white clouds and i thought it would be really pretty look at that isn't that pretty especially with some blue eyeshadow on i think it would be really really cute or either that pearlescent sort of um what is it metallic type of eyeshadow it would look good too with that but you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut the hoodie off i don't like nothing tight around my neck because of my thyroid right here is swollen so yeah i'm gonna take the hoodie part off of it and y'all will see me have this on in a video it's a little short it's not long but hey i make it work and this is by the brand called daisy may yeah daisy may is the brand all right and then i saw this really sexy top um i think i'm gonna wear this with a pair of uh slacks that i have or either just a pair of my uh, yoga pants. I just think, I don't know. I just, I can dress up yoga pants as well as, you know, like um, dressing them down or just wearing uh, yoga pants casually, okay? I can do it both, okay? So I saw this top and I was like, yes, this is for me. This is what it looks like. It comes off the shoulders. This is the way it will look off the shoulders like top and it has a ruffle on top and it does come up a little short for me, just a little bit, but I think I can make it work. You know, even if I have to put a little 
uh, what is it, cami top underneath. But y'all, this is really cute. It'd be cute with a pair of blue jeans as well. I have those black uh, heels over there, which I think this will look nice for a date night. Yes, I'm looking forward to a date night. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's, it's time, okay? it's It's been time. So yeah, you guys, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna wear this, but it's an option. Um, this is by the brand called Raleigh and James. Yeah, Raleigh and James. All right, and it's an extra large, so it's gonna fit my shoulders. Hopefully, tight. I hope it. I hope it doesn't like be so tight that it won't to roll up. That's the problem with me with tops like this. They, you know, it's just constantly trying to, you know, keep the the shoulder area, this part here of the shirt like this all the time. <laughs> so I don't know why I got it, but I just got it because I thought it was cute. And plus, hey, it was another chance for me to get me something to wear, something that I could use and something that I need not to use, to, but actually something I needed so yeah you guys that is it like honestly i am so happy and so just so thankful to god like seriously i'm happy and i'm so grateful to god for all the many blessings that I've received, that the Lord has helped me to receive as far as help with getting me some clothes, some shoes, some makeup, some underwear, some bras, um, what else? Um, even nails, um, <laughs> little jewelry. Yeah, this little cute little jewelry and just y'all just being here my life is a blessing and i say this after every video because i sincerely do thank god when i'm creating these haul videos i'm thinking of the lord and how far i've come because once again i have been abused and uh, and also people robbed me uh, since 2015, 2016, since 2016. And the issue didn't start in 2016, but I'm just talking about the robbing and the abuse started very badly in 2016. It got really bad up to the point of me having my eye injury. So... Y'all, I'm so thankful for all of your prayers, all of you that like me as a person. I appreciate it. I have been through hell and high waters, okay? Um, but God helped me to float over the obstacles in a sense. I made it through and I made it because of God, okay? And the worst thing now, you guys, is that I want you guys that pray, that honestly do, like for you guys that honestly do believe in God, to pray with me about what direction I need to go. Because right now at this point, God has made a way for me that I can relocate. I can get like my deposit because here I'm having a lot of allergy and sinus problems and I don't need to be here. And plus, I already told y'all I don't want to be here. And I told y'all the reasons why too. Like I've told y'all many reasons why, but First reason is it's not a good place for a person that has allergy or sinus problems. So I've got to get out of here. The thing is, is that I want you guys to pray for me and pray for me that I will find out 
or I will know which direction I need to go. Because this, this is the issue, you guys, just, just a brief issue. I'm not getting into like real personal stuff. I'm trying to hold out for my daughter's graduation. She will be finishing high school this year in, a, in the next two months, okay? The thing is, is that even though she's finishing in the next two months, I still have to be here for just a little bit longer as far as in this area. And... um. I'm ready to relocate though, like straight up. I'm ready to leave this place and get into a better place that will actually be good for my health and also just for me to be comfortable because I've been abused here in this apartment as well as the apartment before and the apartment before that one and the apartment before that one. So we're talking about four places I've been abused. And this time they actually, you know, yeah, this makes the second time that they actually touched me. That means you could see that someone Something had happened, like my thyroid been swollen, my eye had been almost completely shut, both eyes were swollen. Y'all know it. I've talked about it before. But I'm just saying that I want to know which way to go because I get threats on a regular basis. Like, no matter where I go, I get threats. It doesn't scare me, but it's something that you can't just sit there and, and ignore. I get threats everywhere I go, and uh, obviously people love to let me know that they hate me. And it's not just, it's not just strangers, but it's relatives, too. It's relatives. So my thing is, you guys, is that I feel like, and this is this is this may be sad. I feel like talking a little bit, y'all, with this haul. But I feel like in my heart, and maybe some of you can send me some messages just to encourage me and let me know what I should do, and maybe I can come together like with my thoughts and figure this out. But I really do feel like, you know, most of the time people say, well, you know, it's better to live with someone or people than to not live with people. But honestly, I'm at the point right now where I feel like I've, I am happier by myself in my own home. The only issue about that is, be, is the fact that I know I have haters. I have people that is trying to actually hurt me. That is the issue. And most of you would say, well, there's cameras, there's all that. Well, it depends on where you go to. If you live in an apartment complex or you're going to an apartment complex, you can't put a lot of equipment up. That's just part of the policy. So it's a lot of things I have to think about. But honestly, I feel like I was much more happier living alone because the thing about it is when you live around grown people, um, it's like, you know, everybody has their own mind, their own thoughts and their own opinions and all this stuff. And that's fine. But the thing is, I feel like when you live with other grown people, uh, whether it's family or none, it doesn't matter. I just feel like sometimes, you know, it's just too much. It's like, it's like, you know, sometimes you feel like people are stepping on your toes and it's just like, it gets aggravating at times. And sometimes you just like want to say, you know what, I'm just going to get my bags and I'm gone because I'm just that type of person that I don't like to argue and fuss however I do argue. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I do argue, but do I like to argue? No, I do not. I'm 44 years old, you guys. I just want to be happy. I want justice for what has been done to me as far as 
uh, the abuse and the robbery and all this stuff. I want justice, but most of all, I want happiness. And at this point in my life, I feel like whatever is going to make me happy, that's what I want to do. And I'm willing to actually just, you know, just go. Like, I'm serious, just go. And I'm not just talking about just like, oh, go about 10 miles or whatever. I'm I'm at the point now, it can be uh, many, many miles. You know, I am done with trying to love. This is what I'm trying to say. As a Christian person, you try to love and you try to show love. But some people just don't want to love. Some people just can't open that up to certain people. And I feel like if you haven't got along with a person for years, that means if you've never really, really had a, a great relationship with somebody, what make you think or what makes a person think that the relationship is going to be better um, later on? if it was never good from the beginning or it wasn't fantastic from the beginning. And another thing is I don't like it. Like, like for instance, an example is something came up the other day and a person told me that lives here, told me that that person said that they believed another person in my home and will always be on that person's side whether or not that person is right or wrong. But with me, I'm not never going to be on that person's side. That means that person will never be by my side. When I heard that, I was ready to say, you know what? And I did. I said, I told the person, I said, listen, if you don't get along with me, then you don't have to be around me. That means you don't have to live with me. If you always want to go against me, I don't got time for mind games. I got too much to think about like safety, protection, and trying to live. That's what was on my mind. As far as all this little nitpick stuff and all this, you know, I don't like you and I don't want to, uh, I don't have time for that. I don't care about stuff like that. You're going to either like me or you're going to hate me. That's just where I am today in my life. If you hate me, fine, just stay away from me and I'll stay away from you. Um, you know, but if you want to love me and be my friend, guess what? I'll love you and be your friend as well. But if you're going to hate me, just let me be, you know what I'm saying? Just let me be. And I'm tired. Uh, and, and a lot of people that's like that, they love to play mind games. They love to just carry on. And when I say carry on, we mean all day long. Some people do this and it's a mental illness. It's a mental illness. Some people can do this all day long. You move, they move. You jump, they jump. You go step out, they step out. It's like, what is wrong? You can simply ask me a question and I will answer it for you if you're curious about something. Now, I'm not going to say all of my personal business because we all got personal business. But you know what I'm saying? I, oh, it's just one of those things that is so aggravating. You know what I'm saying? And you want to get along. You really like with me. I want to get along. I want to make things work. I want to, I want things to succeed. But at the same time, I want peace. I want harmony. And I want justice for what has happened to me and I just want people to leave me alone. You either like me or you don't. Okay. And I, I'm not going to change myself because I am who I am. Just like 
those people are who they are. And if I don't like who a person is personally, then I just don't get around them people. I just leave them alone. An example of that would be just like, for instance, it's this guy I used to talk to like many, many years ago. We only talked. And then when it got down really bad and I got to realize who this guy, like the his personality, I had to leave this guy alone because I didn't like his personality. I realized that he wasn't that sweet and gentle and like, you know, handsome, wonderful man that I thought he was. So, I mean, I had to delete my social media pages. I had to get off of there, even though I miss it like crazy because you can meet some really nice people on there, and especially when you get bored. And, you know, I'm a type of person, I don't go out and club and all that stuff. I don't go to bars. So, like, getting online and socializing and stuff like that, it's fun for me. But when I had to delete my account just to get away, like, I, I've done everything I could do to try to get away from this guy and it seems like it just don't stop it won't stop and I wish it would because I do wish this person all the happiness in the world with whoever I'm not you know I'm not like crazy like thinking about like this person. I don't know what make this person think I'm thinking about him. I'm not. I have moved on. I, I would not want to be crazy about this person because this person has done so many terrible things in this area against me and have done so many things I don't want to get into it, y'all. It's really personal. But what I'm saying is I don't want a person that has done so many terrible things. And there's no way in hell that I would want to accept that person back into my life. I just want the person to move on because I do and will have someone in my life. And I will be a wife and it will be very soon. So it's like, I just want to be in a peaceful atmosphere so that I can focus on myself getting prepared to be a wife, getting prepared to be, um, you know, you know, just, just being prepared to be a, in a couple, like a relationship, y'all. Being prepared to be in a relationship. So that's what I'm trying to get myself together because y'all got to understand, I haven't been in a relationship since 2005. Like seriously, I'm talking about real relationship. We're talking about every day, you know, real relationship. I dated a guy for one year. That was just dating, but I'm talking about a relationship. I have not been in a relationship since 2005. And like I said, I talked to this other guy just for a little while and I dated one guy for a year. And that the, those, I don't, I don't see those as relationships because we weren't, we were not together every single day. We were just chit chatting. That's what it was. It was like a chit chat relationship. I know y'all probably said this is so much. <laughs> it's very <laughs> funny, but seriously, I'm being honest. I am just over all this stuff. I am ready to meet the man of my dreams and to move on with my life and be a wife and be in a relationship. And whoever's dating who, whoever's involved with whoever, whoever is doing who is none of my business. I'm, a, I'm looking at Sheila. I'm looking at me, this one here, okay? I care less about anybody else and it doesn't mean anything to me because if i'm not interested in someone you can best to believe you don't have to worry about me 
wanting what you got because I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. Trust me, if I want somebody, I could have somebody like straight up right now, okay? <laughs> it's not an issue for me to get someone. Y'all know what I'm saying, but I'm a type of person, I do take my time and I do believe in relationships. So, yeah, you guys, that's, that's just something I had to get off my shoulders. Sometimes you cannot talk to Sometimes it's just good to just talk to the freaking phone or the camera than to talk to someone because some, a lot of times some people just don't get it. But y'all, you know, I'm I'm talking and I, I you know, I feel like y'all can get me. Y'all can understand because y'all just sitting there. <laughs> listening so and then some of you are or have experienced what I am experiencing another thing is being 44 years old I don't like to always have someone always like going behind me and things like that I don't like that I lived alone for over eight years as a single mom and I cleaned and I did all the stuff that I'm a mother's supposed to do, a woman's supposed to do. I know how to do things, okay? And when I don't know how to do certain things, I will ask. I just don't want to be treated like a little kid because I'm not a little kid. I'm 44 years old. Um, and... Trust me, if I need somebody, I will say, hey, somebody help me. I mean, there's been times I've been, you know, sick and I, I, you know, I felt so terrible. I will say, hey, somebody bring me a fan, you know, blah, blah, blah. Trust me, I will ask for it if I need it. So it's not like I'm a little child. And sometimes I feel like, I get treated like a child, although I'm doing a lot of things on my own, like the necessity things. And y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm doing those things on my own. So it really makes me feel bad when I, when I feel like I don't get the respect that I deserve because some people would not be doing a good bit of things that I'm doing on my own. And that is the honest truth. Okay. So I hope y'all can see where I'm coming from, understand where I'm coming from. I just want people here to just leave me alone. I'm being honest. And I know some of them watch my videos. They let me know that they watch my videos and that's fine. I just want people to leave me alone. But most of all, I will get justice one way or another. If I'm, if I'm, Even if I'm still here in this area or if I'm in another area, I will not stop until I get justice. I want justice for all the abuse and all of the false accusations and just all of the robbery. I want justice for all those things and I will not stop until I receive justice. Um, but I'm just saying, I just want people to leave me alone. If you're not going to be nice to me, don't say nothing to me at all. If you don't really mean it, like if you don't really want to talk to me, then don't talk to me. I'd rather really for you just walk by me and just pretend you don't even see me. Like seriously. And I hate to say that because I'm a Christian. I would love to hug every single person and tell them I love them. But in this world, in this society, there, there's people that just don't want love. That's real. Some people just don't want love. Okay. So the ones that are like that, I just want them to leave me alone because when you get to talking to them and you try to be nice, they take it in an opposite rude way. Okay. And I'm just sick of it. You know, I'm sick of it. Like, 
There's people in this world that do love me. There is people that do care for me. And there is people that understands me and they know my heart and they, they understand my thinking and how I feel about things. And they know me as a person and they know that I have a lot of love, a lot of love. And I go through a lot of of pain. And when I say pain, emotional pain, a lot of emotional pain. I've been through physical pain, as we know, with the injury and all that. But I'm just saying a lot of people know that I go through a lot of emotional pain because there's not a there's not enough love that I should receive from people. But that's okay. I'm tough. I got a hard shell, you know, I got a hard shell, like my, over the years, it's like a shell just kind of developed. So I'm sort of used to being hated. And I hate to say that, but it's true. I'm used to being hated and it's sad to say that, but it is the truth. I want to be loved. I want to know what it is to be completely loved, not just by uh, a fiance or a boyfriend or a husband, but by just average people. And I do have some people in my life that do love me, that is friends. However, they do not live in this area. I wouldn't want to either. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I miss that and, you know, just hanging out and stuff like that. I miss a lot of that. And so I feel like my life is like transitioning to like wonderful things. Like I feel it. I feel it every day. It's like me getting these things, these makeup products, these clothing for something very wonderful that is about to happen in my life. Meaning friends, friendships, okay? Doesn't have to be really spectacular because, you know... <laughs> but you know it's just it's time it's time point blank okay my daughter is about to graduate like this is like two more two more months she's done and I consider myself an accomplished mother I will be a mother for the rest of my life but I'm just saying as far as my personal duties as what I supposed to have taught my daughter and all those other things, you know, I've done that. And I feel successful and I feel accomplished and I feel I need a certificate for being a very committed mother because I could have dated, I could have went out and had a lot of fun, but I chose to stay home with my daughter all these many years. I did. I stayed at home and yeah, I was with my daughter. So now that my daughter is finished and she'll be, you know, pretty much a grown woman, she'll be ready to go to college and do her own thing. Now I can relax and just have a little fun and just enjoy life. And yeah, it's time. Okay. It's time. And I'm so proud of her and her accomplishments as well. And I'm proud of my accomplishments as a mom and how I dedicated all these years as a single mom, yes, yes, as a single mom, taking care of my daughter, I feel really good. Not nothing wrong with y'all that have your children and you have the father. That's nothing, that's really good. But I'm just speaking about my life as a single mom and raising my daughter on my own. I did really, really good. I have done everything that I knew I had to do and through the good times and bad, I continue to be strong and be there for my daughter. So, yeah, you guys, it's time for a fun time and I'm getting myself prepared, honey. Yes, clothes, makeup, shoes, um, not just for good times, but I need these things too, okay? Once again, if any of you would like to help, message me. If you want to bless me, 
message me, okay? I can use some help because I'm starting all over. I've been robbed. I've been abused. Want to help? Send me a message, please. <laughs> and you will receive a blessing back, okay? That's, that's just how it is. But I thank y'all for watching. And look out for more videos. There will be more makeup videos. And yeah, you guys, I will see y'all in my next video. And take care. And I love y'all. Bye-bye.